I'm Bonnie Barker with BonnieBayCrochet.com and in celebration of National Crochet Month, this is um, 2017, I want to offer a free crochet tutorial for my Cascade Yarns um, Crocheted Cable Cowl. Um, this is what we're going to make. These are really, really fun to wear, um, great for winter time. They can actually be really good for this time of the year in the spring when the weather's not sure whether it wants to be cold or warm and or in somewhere in between. Well, anyway, this, this is just a one hank project. Um, I'm highly recommending you try um, Cascade's um, Heritage Silk. That would be 85% merino superwash wool and 15% silk. Okay, one hank um, comes uh, 437 yards. And the other thing you're going to need is a size G or 6 crochet hook and a yarn needle or a darning needle just to hide a loose end or two. There's only going to be two at the very most with this project so that's a lot of fun too. You're not going to have to spend a lot of time hiding strings. Well anyway, why don't you come along with me and we can do this project. Um, you could probably knock it out in a day or two. Alright, God bless. and Let's go ahead and begin this. Um, just quickly I'll just state that the gauge for this is done in the d in a double crochet ribbing which we're going to begin um, and let's see 11 stitches should be approximately 2 inches 4 rows should be approximately 1 inch I'm also using a size G or 6 uh, crochet hook and let's go ahead and begin the first thing we're going to do is we're going to chain 121 stitches. So I'm going to go ahead and make my slip knot and I'm going to count very carefully 121. And I like to count in, in uh, groups of five, so that was five. One, two, that's ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I'm going to go ahead and count to 121 and then I'll return. Okay, now that I have my chain of 120 chains, I'm going to go ahead and very evenly, without twisting the chain, I'm going to try to find the first. I'm going to try to make a, a big circle. Okay, I'm going to slip stitch this together like so. And then I'm going to chain two, one, two. I'm going to double crochet in the same place where I just joined and I'm also going to start hiding this this strand at the same time. I'm going to crochet on top of that. Okay, um, so you see my my circle looks about like this. And I'm going to double crochet in each stitch around. When I'm finished, I should have 121 stitches plus the turning chain. I'm not counting the turning chain as a stitch in this count. Okay? So, and as you see, like I said, I'm going to try to hide this stitch at the same time, or, or, or rather the strand. So it'll be pretty well hidden when I finish this round. I'm going to double crochet in each stitch around and then I will return. Okay, now that I've worked all the way around the chain, putting a double crochet in each chain, I'm going to connect this not at the chain but at the top of the very first double crochet with the slip stitch. Just simply a slip stitch. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do, we're going to chain two, one, two, and we are going to work. A front post double crochet and then a back post double crochet all the way around ending with a front post double crochet in the last stitch since we have an odd number okay and if you've if you are new to front post stitches instead of going in the top like so what we're going to do is we're going to give the stitch a belt like so we're going to wrap the hook and then we're going to go in the front door and come out the side door for a front post double crochet and then we just complete the double crochet as normal, like you would do in a regular way. For a back post, which is what we do next, we're going to wrap the stitch and we're going to come in the back door, go around the front of the stitch and go out the back side door. And pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, just like you would 
um, complete the double crochet. It's just that instead of going in through the top, you're going it around, you're giving it a belt. If it's a front post double crochet, we go in the front side, like so. If it's a back post, we come in the back side, go around the stitch completely, and complete it like that. Yeah, I'm going to do a couple more of these just to demonstrate. Front post double crochet, and then a back post double crochet. Front post double crochet, come around, back post double crochet. I'm going to do this all the way around, and then I'll show you what it looks like when I complete this round. Okay, now that we've come to the end of the round, I'm going to join with this slip stitch in the first DC or first front post of the round. I'm going to chain two, and the pattern says for rounds three and four to repeat round two. Okay, so I'm going to start off on round three, and I'm going to actually complete round three and round four um, before I give the next instructions when I come back, but I'm going to go ahead and start here. We're going to do front post double crochet, and when you're doing this, make sure that the front post is done over another front post from the previous round, and, and also um, we do not have to turn any of these these rounds, or, or at least not yet. Okay, now I'm going to do a back post double crochet, and there's a front post. I'm going to do a front post there, and then a back post over the back post double crochet. Okay, so the ribbing, this is what this is called should continue to grow, you know, should should continue to form, you know, longer lines as you do round three and round four. So go ahead and complete those rounds and then I will show you how to begin the cabling. Okay, I'm now at the end of row four. I have one, two, three, this is my fourth row, and I'm gonna um, front post and a last stitch like so. Let's go ahead and get through both of those. There you go. And now I'm just going to connect with a slip stitch at the top of the first front post double crochet of the round. Okay, so that completes the first four rows, which is the ribbing. Okay, now this is row five, and I'm going to begin the cable. I'm going to chain three, one, two, three. And the directions say to skip two stitches. So that's one, two stitches, and I'm going to work a front post treble in the next two stitches. So I've wrapped my hook twice, I'm doing a front post treble. It's just doing a treble crochet, but again, we're wrapping it around the post. Now I'm going to also do a front post in this one as well. Even though it's a back post, we're no longer doing ribbing, we're into the cabling. Now, it says working in front of the last two stitches, so working in front of these, I'm going to front post treble in the two skipped stitches right here. So I'll do the first one that I skipped, and then the second one. Okay, and we've just completed our first cable. Okay, so the directions now say we're going to do that around. So what we're going to do is everything within the brackets, we're going to do that all the way around. So I'll do a couple more for you. So it says to skip the next two stitches. Then we're going to front post treble in the next two. Wrap it twice, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, okay? And now we're going to work in front of these two stitches, and we are going to do the two that we skipped. Now do be careful that you don't um, crochet in once you've already crocheted in. Like for example, you can see this, these stitches have been crocheted around. It, it might be a little tricky at first seeing that. You can always do the one furthest from you first, and then this one, the second one. All right, I'm going to do that one more time, and then I'm going to do it all the way around. Skip two, treble, the next two. And 
and working in front of these two stitches, I'm going to treble in the next two. Oops, let's do that again. I pulled it through too many loops. Okay, now I'm going to do this all the way around and I'll show you how to connect this back. Okay, at the end of this round, you're simply going to join with the slip stitch at the top of the very first treble crochet. Now we're going to chain two and I like to turn. I like to work um, this next row with the back side facing. If you prefer to work it with the front side facing, you can, but I think it's easier for the stitches to grab um, working from the back side. So this round, we are simply going to chain two, which we've already done, back post, double crochet in each stitch around, and then join with a slip stitch to top of first stitch of row. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. So you're going to simply do a back post double crochet. It's not a treble, it's a double crochet. And remember there are four stitches, you may have to work that hook around to get those four mm -hmm. stitches. Sometimes it's a little tricky at the cross, but um, the crossing of the cable. Just working back post, double crochet, four around each stitch of every cable. So I'll go ahead and work that all the way around and then show you the join once I get back. Now that we've come to the end of the round, we're simply going to connect with a slip stitch to the very first back post double crochet, just like that. Now I'm going to chain, let's see, chain three, one, two, whoops, Three. I'm going to turn back around. Now we're ready for another cable row. So I'm just going to go ahead and read the directions and explain and uh, kind of give you a, a big chunk of an assignment here. Rounds 7 through 20, we are simply going to repeat rounds 5 and 6, just like we've just done, seven times more. So we have one cable begun here, so we're going to do another cable row and then we'll uh, round rather, then we'll do the round um, with the back post double crochet. We're going to do both of those um, seven times more and when we're done we should be able to count um, eight, uh, eight rounds or, or I should say eight cables um, vertically. Alright, so let's go ahead and I'll start this. Remember we're going to skip the two stitches. We're going to front post double crochet and the next two stitches, whoops, make sure I get it in the right place. Okay, get a little more yarn. And now working in front of these last two stitches just made, I'm going to front post double crochet and the two stitches just skipped. And I'm just going to do that all the way around, just like we did in round five. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to complete rounds 7 through 20 and then I will show you what you should have and it's very close to being completed at that point. I'll go ahead and finish this cable for you. Okay, so let me show you how this is starting to look like some cables here. Okay. So go ahead and do round 7 through 20 and then I will sh we will compare what we have. Okay, now that we've worked rows 7 through 20, I wanted to show you what you should have. Okay, so we have, let's go ahead and go ahead and count them. Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 cables or rows of cables, which are actually 16 rows, but um, each of them taking up two rows, but anyway, so you should be able to count eight um, cables there. Let me also show you something else. It is a bit curly around the top, all right? Uh, when you're working on this row, that may do that. That Actually, it will do that. It's, it's, uh, it's normal, um, and I don't want you to worry about that. Um, so let me go ahead, and then we're going to... Oh, it's coming undone a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and begin 
the the uh, the remainder of this is which is rows 21 through 24. Okay, I'm going to start by chaining two, and this is just like the ribbing we did at the beginning. Okay, so I'm going to front post double crochet, and then work a back post double crochet, and we're going to do this all the way around, just like we did the first, actually for the very first row. Actually, second row. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and work this front post, back post, front post, back post. Then I'm going to join with the slip stitch at the end of the round to the first stitch here, the top of the first double crochet, and then I will continue doing rows 22 through 24, which again would be working a front post and a front post, a back post and a back post, front post, back post, front post, back post. And there's no reason or, or need to turn at the end of these three rows. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish um, rows 21 through 24, and then I'll show you what we will have after that. Okay, I've just finished working the ribbing rows all the way around. I've chained one, pulled my yarn tight so that I can hide the strand, fasten off. I just wanted to show you a quick and easy way to hide this one strand that we need to hide. We simply thread our yarn needle like so. And we want to do this with the back side facing us. I'm just going to simply go down into the stitches like so. There's not any real specific, you know, strands we have to do this in. We just want to do it in such a way that it is hidden from the front. Okay. So I'm going to run it down like this. I'm going to go a couple more stitches down. And, and this, there's going to be a lot of elasticity in, uh, with the, the silk and this yarn. It can be a little slippery. So I'm going to actually kind of go back up the next row like so, okay? Because that way it's not gonna just pull one direction, okay? And I'm gonna very carefully trim it. Be very sure that you do not cut your stitches when you do that, okay? And it is completely hidden. So let me show you, show you what we have here, okay? Very nice, very fun cowl. Uh, nice and uh, soft, uh, a little pretty, you know, pretty flexible. And you can make these to go with, you know, various colors to, to go with whatever uh, you have in your wardrobe. Um, let me show you one thing when you wear this. The top chain, this is the foundation chain right here. You're gonna want to wear that up, up to the top. Let that be the top. And the bottom row is much more flexible, so that will easily, easily adjust down uh, to around the collar. Right. Okay, that, that ends this video. If you enjoyed this project and you want to learn more cables, do me a favor. If you could please subscribe to my channel, and that way you won't miss out on any of the new projects, both large and small, that I'm posting on my YouTube channel. Really appreciate it. God bless.